So, what I discovered recently, uh, today, is that apparently I can play uh, this left-handed guitar upside down a little bit. And so I thought what would be good is if I immediately made a guitar lesson video about how to play upside down guitar, which I uh, just discovered I can do a little bit. So I'm Adam Edmore, and welcome to YouTube's Worst Guitar Lessons. So. Let's say you've been playing the Maya Pentatonic scale, right? Okay. And you're feeling guilty because it's too easy. And it sounds great. There are lots of other scales, but none of them sound as good. And this is like the easiest one to play as well. So guitar is done, right? Yeah, basically, yeah, that's it. It's the main thing. Uh, but a lot of people feel at this point, well, it has to be harder. How can I make guitar harder? When really that's the only thing anyone ever wants to hear out of a guitar is that. done but you don't want it to be done so uh, what you can do is especially if you want to like do the musical equivalent of uh, raising your hand and telling your guitar teacher you know where the four chord and the five chord are I got a trick that you can use to musically raise your hand and tell some music superego that you know where the four chord and the five chord are. And that's by playing two jazz jerk variations on the minor pentatonic scale, which you should always just blow through and microtonally inflect. But you're going to be a jazz jerk and you're going to learn these two variations on the minor pentatonic scale that actually involve playing different fret positions, which is so lame. All right. You know how, like, no one cares about chromatic harmonica? You're gonna care about chromatic harmonica because of guitar guilt. All right, so here's the regular Maya Pentatonic scale. Cool, my strings are a little out of tune. Seems fine. So this was the worst guitar lesson. Uh, so you can tune a guitar when you're sleepy. Anyway, so this is a regular minor pentatonic scale. One. Minor third. Four. Tritone. You know it's in there. So, ta, do, fifth, minor seven, unison, octave, octave, octave. 
Okay, so that's the regular one, and you go like. Anyways, if you want to raise your hand and say four chord, we're going to play this made up scale. I'm calling the Dorian Pentatonic because pentatonics don't have conventional names. And uh, as you might imagine, it has a major six in it and a minor third. And mainly, we're going to replace the fifth with the major sixth. And it's the My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean interval. I have like a Dorian version of that song and I get confused about whether it's doing a major or Dorian. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired right now. Do you know how tired I am? Oh man. Ah. 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 Look. See how that's grainy? That's because it's late. I can maybe just getting this done today. Anyways, so let's, let's do this Dorian pentatonic. Ah! Sounds like uh, it's too simple to be jazz and lacks the microtonal nuance of blues, so it's perfect jazz jerk scale. Man, only a guitar teacher would ever play that scale, but you can too if you want to sound like a guitar teacher. All right, so that scale goes over the four chord. If you know where the four chord is, you can raise your hand and tell everybody by playing that scale. All right, here's our other one. We're going to call this the uh, dominant pentatonic, which is going to go over the five chord. And uh, it's actually a legit mode of the minor and major pentatonics. It's the... Uh, the mode a fourth below the uh, minor pentatonic and uh, because of the way pentatonics are referred to by step it's stupid it's stupid it, it should go around the circle of fifths but that's not how modal everything with guitar is stupid so I'd have to think about its mode what it's the subdominant mode of the minor pentatonic, which we're confusingly referring to as the dominant pentatonic because we're going to play it over the dominant or five chord. Okay, and that goes like this. Instead of ma, instead of the minor third, we're gonna have a re, which is consistent across both Indian and Western solfege. Western, Western, Western. It's the only interval that has the same name in Indian and Western solfege is re. Solfage, this do it's called sa, which in Western Solfage is the tritone because I, they're trying to make it as incompatible as they can. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play the scale. Do, re, do, re, fa, sol, ta, do, do, ta, sol, That's 
it's gonna go over the five chord. So let's uh, I'm gonna just say the numbers and play scales over them to demonstrate how that goes. One, 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 one. It sounds like uh, you, so the convenient thing about it is that you can uh, make uh, an acapella, uh, not acapella, it's just a monophonic guitar solo actually uh, sound like it has the changes in it. And your guitar teacher will respect you for it. Okay. Uh, Good night.